Buckle up. We got a long grind ahead of us because today we're going to begin the Ironhide Dark Aether. So I just finished getting this leveled up in multiplayer. I have used it in zombies a little bit. I used it up until like level eight, right around when it got released at the start of season six because, you know, I just want to test out the new guns, see how they're working and all that. And I already know this thing's fire rate is going to be the death of me. So let's go ahead and start our build. I already don't know what to pick for the muzzle because I usually go with something that increases drop rate, but it also really it hurts our shooting move speed and sprint the fire time and this one hurts our effective damage range but it helps our hip fire we have tighter ads uh, we'll just go with the agency choke now we have another dilemma do we want faster fire rate or do we want more damage because this is a 13 percent fire rate increase versus you know us losing some sprinting move speed and this is 10 percent bonus damage but our damage range goes down i don't know how far away from zombies we're gonna be actually so maybe we should just go task force yeah we're, we're gonna go task force also gonna go with the ember sighting point for sure gonna need the eight round tube and we have one more attachment slot i don't have the marathon stock yet which is disappointing i think we're gonna have to go with the sas combat stock all right and that's our build and we're gonna be heading in with ring of fire as well all right let's go ahead and hop on forsaken and try to get this thing dark aether i already know this grind is gonna suck but hopefully it does decent damage at the very least and really quick in case you haven't seen it does the inspect on the iron hide pretty cool basically a red dead redemption gun we got a zombie right here that's about to get trick shotted Ooh. Oh, Wasteland Camo, let's go. Already at 50 crits. As much as I want to just stay in here and grind out camos, I know the damage fall off is going to come off quick and we're going to need Pack-A-Punch. And killing the Abomination is only going to get tougher. But on early rounds, this thing kind of goes in. You know, the fire rate isn't really too much of a problem here on these early rounds because they're all just walking. But the second they get a little pep in their step, we're screwed. Let's try this. Aiming down sight. Does this thing collapse? It's not looking like it. It does have a little bit of range, though. Oh, there's our acidic camo. Let's just grab this max ammo and hop through. Already round five. It's so crazy that that whole first room is, like, spawn and time-based and not, like, kill-based. Pretty cool to see here. Pop this open. Let's get our loose change from speed. or stamina up. All right, let's set up the teleporter. You know. <laughs> Pack shut your mouth. Let's get this loose change. Ooh, lots of zombies over here. We gotta start getting our teleporter parts. Let's grab this one first. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, we need the flashlight from the movie theater next, but we need some points first. Oh, they get us a coin. Thank you. Actually, now that we have a coin. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We should go down with it. I think that, yeah, that was the move I was looking for. God damn it. I don't know what I was thinking there. But as I was saying, now that we have a coin, let's go to... Oh, wait, we have to lift lockdown. So I just went down for no reason. I mean, I already went down for no reason, but I, I can't go do the Dragon D's event. I thought we'd get it some extra stuff nice and quick, but nope, I'm just an idiot. <sighs> It's hard being stupid. Grab the flashlight. What's up, Bubby? Oh, we don't have enough to get into Burger Town. There's our Glacier camo. Oh, double points. Let's go. Let's get as many kills as we can while double points is up. Hold on. We gotta reload. Let's just ring a fire. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. The fire rate is a huge issue. That is disgustingly bad. We got a Corrosion camo from it, though. Ooh, that range is nice. Okay, let's get our fryer. And we need one more piece. And our last piece is in here. Pick that up. All right, now let's go turn on our teleporter. Got all the parts before getting here. Big brain shit. Pop this open. We're in the Stranger Things area. Come on out, Abomination. It's time. Ooh, this is not doing like any damage to him. Uh oh, he's about to start squirting. Oh, he just took out all these zombies for us. I didn't know he could do damage to his own boys all right let's shoot him right in the asshole oh he inked come on dude no inking oh i'm out of ammo completely i think we got ammo right here oh shit no charging stop that one more shot two more shots let's go oh, we're right by our armor stand let's see if we can upgrade our gun at all i think we're gonna need it yep let's get this green can't quite get it blue yet though and we're too broke to get pack a punch so let's just turn it on I had some people ask me, what's the point of hitting this button? After you hit this button, you activate the Easter eggs on the map, like the Ronald Bray gun and like the Bubby one. So we only do this so we have the option to get those done. Also, let's skip it. Skipping. Let's go. All right, let's sit in our starting area until we got enough money. Honestly, I don't know how much we're going to need Ring of Fire. We might want to use Aether Shroud instead. Because Aether Shroud will fully reload our weapon, which is a huge thing with how slow this thing reloads. It's not like Ring of Fire is going to increase our fire rate or anything. Because they're already getting up here on round seven. Normally, we can just hold them off. So I might use Aether Shroud, Tesla Storm, or Frenzied Guard. I don't know which one. And now we have enough for Pack Punch. Let's go do that. Let's grab it. And this is what Pack Punch 1 looks like here on the Iron Hide. That's actually really clean. 
Very good coverage on this gun. This first camo is sick. All the camos on this map are sick. Just gotta really make sure I'm focusing on my crits. Last weapon I did in zombies was the axe. Did not have to focus on any crits for that. So now I need to get back into the crit mindset. There we go. There's our growl camo. Oh my Lanza, the speed on this. My ring of fire is getting too many kills. Stop ring of fire. We don't need that. Yeah, that ring of fire did not help. I'm switching now. Let's try Frenzied Guard. And now that we have a little extra cash, let's get Cryo. And I don't think I'm going to do the Ronald Ray Gun Easter Egg today, but I might do Bubby once we're a little set up. The last time we got really, really messed up. We're also using the axe, so maybe the shotgun will help us a little more. Oh, we're a sniper. Oh, come on. I'm hardly getting any crits. We got a forecast camo, though. It's got to count for something. And our entropathy camo. Or however hell that you say it. And a scavenger camo. Look at the, all these camos and the extortion camo. Let's go doom. We're only on round 10. And they're already getting to the point where they can kind of just like almost overwhelm me off the off the truck. This is not good. It does do a lot of damage though. We're already doing like 2,000 damage. I think decoys might help us a little more than stuns today. Let's go ahead and grab a few perks. We're going to need them. And I almost forgot that I don't have a self-revive. So we're kind of playing with fire right now. Okay, let's throw a decoy down. We're grabbing... Quick revive and speed cola and stamina up. And we've made it back home. Focus on the headshots, Joe. Don't forget the headshots. Our ratio is already not looking good. 232 kills or 236 kills, 146 crits. I feel like it's only going to get worse. Holy shit, they're fast as hell. The truck already is inviable. It's round 12. Am I supposed to do train? You're saying you want me to actually move? What kind of bullshit is this? Can we upgrade it now? Oh, let's get it to blue. Can't do much after that. We can refill our armor though. Ooh. Oh, I was about to say we're holding them off and we ran out of ammo. I couldn't even start speaking before that happened. Get the last of these crits. There's our rising tiger camo. We almost have enough for pack two. Amphibian camo. Let's go. 250 crits. Just literally 2,250 more to go. Which camo? We're getting there on our jackrabbits too. Let's frenzied. Slow them down a bit. We gotta reload. Frenzy seems kind of useless. It kind of slowed him down and it saved me for a second to give me a chance to reload. But I feel like Aether Shroud is going to be way more helpful. Let's switch to Aether Shroud instead. Oh, we got enough to pack a punch. Let's go do that. Grab pack a punch two. This is what the Iron Hide looks like with pack a punch two. Very nice. These camos are so good. I'm glad they added new camos to this map. Should grab some more perks after this round too. There's a degeneration camo. 350 kills while it's packed. I'm sure that'll slowly but surely overtake our crits. Conviction camo. I think we're done with our uh, jackrabbits now. Ooh, the jumping shot on the mimic wasn't a crit though. Unfortunate. Mimic, stay back. Let's go. Degener or descendants candle camo, whatever the hell that's called. All right, we got 10k. We need perks. Oh, we can also go do the Dragon D's event. All right, I'm tossing a decoy right there. Let's go ahead and get Death Perception, PhD. I think that's good for now. We can come back and get Deadshot and all that later. But before we go any further, we need to play our tributes. Where's the last of them? One more. Let's go. There should be an Easter egg for that. Uh-oh, another abomination. We kind of just domed it right in the mouth the second it appeared, and it's already gone. Eat the cheeseburger. Quick health and a max ammo. Let's hop on in. Use the arcade token. It's not using it. Aether Shroud. Everybody get the fuck out of here. Especially you, Abomination. You piece of shit. Please let me use it. It's not letting me use it. I go to Knocked? No. I don't know why, but sometimes it just won't let me use these arcade tokens. And going all the way back there is just awful. So easy to get cornered back there. I guess we can try doing the Bubby Easter egg. There's a spot right here we have to jump onto. Please be Bunny. It is bunny. Let's go. First try again. There's a decoy. I was getting hounded. Everybody go on that decoy. Give me them crits. No! Okay, there's Carpenter. Actually, we should probably wait before we try to do Bubby. Because we're already getting hounded by these zombies. We might need a little more armor before we try it again. Now that that round's over, can we go to the dragon event? We can. Let's go. Now, out of all of them, this is probably the lamest in terms of design. Because it's literally just pulled right from Outbreak. I know it's supposed to be like the... Oh, I can't ever say the name of the map. Dare. Oh, fuck. Now I'm just going to leave it. But I know this dragon originates from that map. But this is literally pulled right from Outbreak. And then just placed on the roof of this building. You can even see the inside right over there. But despite this being like the least cool out of all the arcade machines. This probably has the best benefit. Because you have a chance at getting a perk. You get a full power. Which will fill up your, uh, your field upgrade. And you have a chance at the wonder weapon or a ray gun. Well, I guess the ray gun is a wonder weapon, but I'm talking about this map's wonder weapon. So yeah, pretty good stuff. 
Get some salvage in too. I think that's everything. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon. Pop it open. What we got? Okay. Oh, we got a hand cannon. We'll take that. That'll help us with abominations in the future. And a DMR. Kind of trash other rewards. Looking at our kills though, we are half crits at kills. It's going to be a long one. We could throw this in Bubby, but we got to wait. Oh, we got another arcade token. Can we do the same one twice in the same round? I'm going to go see. Oh, self-revive. Let's go. Didn't even have to buy one back. Oh, there's a bonus points there. I need that. Get off me. Okay. Well, speaking of self-revive, good thing we picked one up. Didn't need it. Oh, that's not even a bonus point. So I turned around for a max ammo. There goes PhD and quick revive. <sighs> Let's go back and get our perks, and then maybe we can upgrade our armor. Where are you, Wonder Fizz? Okay, quick revive. Death perception. Let's get dead shot, and then we'll get PhD again later. Actually, we can probably just get in it right here in a second. Let's get this last crit gone. Our last zombie's really far away, so we can grab PhD here without worrying about it. I don't even know where this last zombie is. Oh, here he is. What's up, pal? Gone. So upgraded to level two and level three. Can't upgrade our gun anymore, probably because we just spent all of our salvage. Okay, I'm going to hit this nuke, but this is for science. Silky showed me this the other day. Check this out. Tony Hawk? What the fuck? There we go. Tony Hawk at the half pipe. That's basically it. That's this map's grind the rail. Where's the closest crafting table? Let's grab a decoy. Back the fuck up. All right, let's just do Bubby. Fuck it. Blow Bubby's back out. Let's go, Bubby. Blow them clouds. There's our grudge camo. Uh-oh. Leave Bubby alone. Easy crit farm until that panzer shows up, but this time we're ready. They love to, like, lull you into a false sense of security. They're like, oh, yeah, let's just send a few zombies at him real slow. And I have no ammo, actually. That's a huge problem. Okay, let's do this. I'm actually going to nade that. Oh, we can get this panzer easy. This thing destroys him. Let's go. And he dropped ammo. Hey, Aether Shroud. Leave Bubby alone. Holy shit. What? They actually just dismantled Bubby. I thought I was more prepared this time. I guess not. They just hoarded him. I should have naded it. Oh, well. We got some cheeseburgers out of it, if anything. This has got to be like the hardest bunny Easter egg there is. Ooh, get out of here, Abomination. Aether Shroud, because I almost just got blasted. Get these crits. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Last one. There we go. Now we're on round 20. We got another arcade token. Let's see if we can do the Dragon Ds again. Let's go. This is just an easy way to farm kills and get better rewards. Actually, I don't even know if crits count in here, which kind of sucks. Let's see. We're at 363 critical kills. Yeah, they do not go up. That's unfortunate. Dragon better go something good for this then. We're missing out on all these crits. Go ahead. Get out of here. Scram. All right, what do you got? A quick revive that we already have and an XM4. At least they dropped the perk this time. All right, I'm going to leave like one zombie and then I guess we can do the Ronald Ray gun Easter egg. I think I'm going to do it until I get a, a actual ray gun. So every time we're on this map, we'll try it out. They already dropped another token for us. Let's go. It's honestly probably better just to train around with this gun because just sitting in that spot and spawn, we're going to have to just keep jumping off of it and training around anyways. Oh, I forgot to leave a zombie. I'm an idiot. You know what? I'll just make this delivery more fun. Let's try to deliver it with zombies. Ronald, I'm home let's pop open the door get out of here zombie please oh no i gotta eat the shot out of here yeah that's gonna be tough to do how the hell am i gonna get this done i didn't even pick up pizza it didn't start I don't think I could do it with Aether Shroud on. This is the other spot I was considering using for grinding, but honestly, I'm already getting fucked up over here. There's our Funkadelic camo. We're killing all those elites. Oh my god. I need Jug. I wasn't buying Jug because I thought we could actually complete Bubby and get it for free. It does not look like it's happening today. Oh my god, get off me. Aether Shroud! No, I don't have it! Oh, come on. This zombie's so low. Get back here. Why are you all jumping off the roof? What the fuck? Yeah, I guess I'll use my self-revive. That's fucked. Zombies got out of the way. I'm going up on a Tuesday. Okay, I need to Aether Shroud and go buy some more perks. I guess we can get PhD back while right here. Tony Hawk, let's go. Oh, I actually went to the other one. That was sick. Oh, shout out PhD. No, 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 no. Come back here, zombies. I demand it. Oh, fuck me. Let's go. Barely got up. Okay, Aether Shroud. We need to get Quick Revive back immediately. We'll get Speed Cola. We're going to get Jug. We're going to get Deadshot. PhD. And we're going to get the fuck out of here. Holy fuck. It's such a slippery slope once you go down in zombies. Where too many zombies spawn in, we can try to grab a Self Revive from over here. Never mind. There are too many zombies already. No. Stun. Let me out. Okay, from this point on, no more going down. It's not going to happen. Actually, we have like one zombie left. Let's grab our Self Revive. And we're going to need to make some funds off of Ronald. Ronald, I need money. Okay, we took the pizza. Let's go. Okay, first one we're going to deliver is right in here. 
There we go. Out of the way, zombie. I got shit to do. Give me payment. Armor, okay. Next pizza, let's go. Next delivery is gonna be at the movie theater. That's two. Two more to go. Give me money. Oh, salvage. Okay. So take this one. All right, and this one can go to Burger Town. What's up, Bubby? There you go. Bubby's still smoking. He's still vaping. All right, pay me. More armor. Sick. Last one. And this one goes to the bar. There you go. Enjoy. We'll grab this loose change since we're here. All right, Ronald. I delivered everything. What are you going to give me? Oh, he actually gave me the ray gun. Holy shit. Thank you, dude. Of course, it's when we're grinding camos and we don't need it. Watch this. Ronald, it be yourself. Idiot. We got 8,000 points, though. Let's go ahead and grab at least one more perk. Go on a stun. Let's get death perception. Tony Hawk? Nope. I couldn't, I couldn't slide. We're leaving. Sorry, Tony Hawk. All right, we've been kind of dragging these last two rounds. We're going back to the truck and seeing how we can do now. I'm not getting any crits. This is awful. Oh, uh, I'm already out of ammo, too. I need to get mule kick. Oh, the pack punch name for this is called the Devil's Broadside. Just now noticing it. Kind of crazy. Kind of cool. God damn. Okay, here's an idea. Everybody fucking freeze. Okay, I guess that stun was optional for some of you. There we go. Our boutique camo. Our first camo in a pit. I, I wish so bad that Shatter Blast could get critical kills. I'd be Shatter Blasting the fuck out of these guys right now. But they're giving me a lot of salvage. Oh, and there's our downfall camo. Can we upgrade anything while we're here? Let's get purple. Disciple, you need to go. Oh, thanks for the mana camo, idiot. Oh, decoy, let's go. Decoys are for sure the move with this gun. Let's get all these zombies trained up. All right, everyone enjoy that decoy. Let's get some crits off of them. Like how I really don't even care if you hit me. You're a little bitch anyways. All right, let's go get mule kick. Tony Hawk? Whoa, let's go. We hit them both. Oh, of course. There's a fucking abomination waiting in here. And he's charging right at me. Okay, Aether Shroud. Let's grab Mule Kick. Do we need anything else? And I think we're good. All right, let's go back and train at home. Oh, we're like 518,000 crits away. And there's a fucking abomination. Hold on, abomination. Eat a fucking hand cannon, you little bitch. That's doing literally nothing to him. He does not give a fuck about it. Back to the shoddy. Not doing anything either. We can shoot him in his little purple mouth. This is so inefficient for camos. I just wish this thing shot a little faster. Abomination, stop fucking squirting. Come here. Let me see that pink little mouth of yours. There we go. Let's grab some decoys while we have the chance. We never got our loose change from Deadshot. Let's do that. We just gotta really save up for pack three at this point. Oh my god. The fucking mimic. I thought I had armor. Inst oh, fucking goddamn. Head of Aether Shroud. Let's grab the insta kill. Let's decoy. Everybody go to the decoy so I can get some crits, please. Throw another one. Okay, Mimic, ignore it. We still got more, so let's throw another. There we go. Oh, another decoy. Please. Oh, I got a Semtex out of here. I'm not proud of it, but I had to do it. I'm not going down again. We'll never get pack up for three if I go down again. Can we buy any more decoys? We can. Sick nasty. Oh my god. Oh, 1,069 sex. Oh, we're only at 574 crits. Literally halfway. Not even halfway. Halfway on our normal kills. We're going to be here for three years. All right, we have a giant group of zombies. Let's decoy right here. Everybody go for it. Let's go. This is the only way we're getting crits. I don't know how any of those shots missed. With that huge group of zombies, at least one bullet should be hitting. Another decoy. Get them crits in. That was a good run. Throw another. Decoys are so clutch. Another decoy. Oh, yeah. This is the move. Our crits have already gone up by 100. I'm just going to buy them after every round. Maybe multiple times around. We're actually starting to get low on salvage, but can we upgrade anything? Nope. Don't matter, though. This decoy strat working. It's busting. And then next round, we can get pack three. So let's try to take out the elites as we train around. And then we can decoy, take out the zombies. I think that's the, the full plan here. If you're using this gun and you want a dark aether, I don't know why. Unless you're a completionist. But decoys are the move for it. I'll tell you that. At this rate, decoy is going to be my most used tactical in this fucking game. There's our boundary camo. We finally got 750 crits with this thing. Okay, not very many zombies left in this round. Let's pop through and let's get pap three. There you go. This is what pap three looks like here on the iron hide. Very nice. Like I said last time, this is like the sunset glitch camo. It's just very, very clean. Let's buy some decoys. Oh shit. We are so low on salvage. What the hell? Never mind on that, I guess. We're just gonna have to find them on the ground. They're finally all starting to spawn in. Let's get them trained up and decoy again. That's literally all we're going to be doing this whole game. All right, big group. Decoy. Easy crits. We're only getting blue salvage now. The green salvage gone. They're just not dropping it for us anymore. One more. That's our last one. Oh, wait. Shout out Mule Kick. They gave me an extra. 
Oh, and it kept, gave me another extra. Mule kicks the shit. Except for when he don't want three guns. Oh, we got a thousand blue salvage. Let's get this to gold. Easy. All right, we got to crawl right here. Time to execute him. Bitch. Stun the horde. Oh, bloodshed camo. We're at 1,500 kills. This is almost like the ZRG. The only other weapon I had to really train around to get this many kills was the ZRG. Even the other snipers have felt faster. <sighs> this grind is putting me to sleep. That's such a pain in the ass. Yeah, this, this is pretty on par with the ZRG. This shit is bad. I'm like actually going to need a nap after this one. That's tuckering me out. This shit makes me feel like I need a blood transfusion. Like I need dialysis after this. Oh, we're at 1,500 kills with this pack of punched. Let's go. We're like almost there. By almost there, I mean we have to do it all over again, basically. Everything we've already done. Every other shotgun in the game is far superior to this one. It's fire rate actually just is so slow. And I don't even think the barrel changes it too much. I've just been running in circles for days. I'm putting myself in a hypnosis. I just want this thing to be done. Why'd they only add painful guns to this update? This should actually just add like death machine, but as an equipable weapon. This might actually be the longest it's ever taken me to get a gun Dark Aether. And I came into this with at least some camos too. This is my warning to anybody thinking about doing this weapon in zombies. Do not do it. It is not worth it. It's starting to exhaust me. I feel like I've I've run a triathlon. Oh shit. God damn it. Okay. I think we had the ray gun to get back up. But now we need to go get perks. Definitely could have Aether Shroud there. And I broke my promise of not going down again. We're at 1,200 crits now. That was such a fucking journey. Okay, Aether Shroud. Let's get everything back. I'll even get Elemental Pop. And Tombstone. Literally everything. Oh, the worst part about this whole thing is I'm, I've am i been playing for almost two hours at this point, And I still need 1,000 more crits. More than 1,000 actually. So I'm like beyond fucked. Oh, I'm fucking down again. This Tombstone Shadow. Fuck it. He dies, he dies. Get up! We're up! Holy shit, we did it! Let's get out of here. That was so risky. That was such an unnecessary risk. Dark Aether? Aether Shroud, whatever the fuck it's called? Where's... Where... I lost Wonderfist. Here it is. Oh, I'm broke. I'm broke as fuck. This might be the end. I'm already down again. I'm pissed. Disciple, you're going down with me. Idiot. I just gotta try to survive now. We got one zombie left. Let's go try to get Jug at the very least. Okay, we got Jug back. If we keep dying like this, though, we're screwed. I'm already dead inside. And then plus just constantly going down with still 1,200 crits to go. This is the worst gun I've ever used. There's our rotten camo. See, we're all done with just normal kills. We are literally 1,000 away from the rest. There's our threshold camo. That's 1,500 crits. Dude, we're literally... We just hit threshold after we hit our rotten camo. That's how fucked up this is. Oh, and now that we don't have mule kick, we need to buy ammo. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going back. We're getting mule kick. I refuse to buy ammo. We're gonna get all the rest of our perks. Okay, we have quick revive back. We have dead shot, mule kick, death perception, and that's probably good. All right, I've reached the point where I am literally too tired to continue. I'll be back momentarily. I need a break. <sighs> Okay, we're back. This gun is actually so bad that it put me to sleep. I just took a two hour nap and I still have so much to go. <sighs> Why do you do this to me, Cod? All right, back into it. Holy shit, holy shit. I put myself in a bad spot to come back to. Oh yeah, now I remember why I went to bed. I'm still just doing the same shit I was doing earlier. And that's just getting crits. But if you honestly don't believe me on how awful this weapon is, I think me walking away and taking a nap should just actually speak for itself that's never happened before where i'm just like middle video i'm like yeah i need to sleep but at least i still remember the strat we gotta kill these elites and then once this mimic's gone and his little mangler pal we can decoy these zombies and go back to getting some crits on over here zombies oh wait mimic you need to leave right here come take it and another and one more i think i just killed them by throwing the decoy at them so that's pretty cool. And then Aether Shroud to fully reload. Where's that Disciple? You need to die. Jeez. The amount of elites that spawn on this map are insane. I'm just going to keep going in a circle and getting as many crits as I can. Until these elites fucking just go away. I just need this Mimic to go. And then we'll be all set. One more shot on him. There we go. Alright, zombies. Decoy, look. Oh, wow. Pretty. They make noise. Oh, there's a fucking other Mimic. That almost got me killed. The second I kill a mangler, another one spawns. Oh, Aether Shroud. Holy shit. That was too close. Decoy, go. Another one. There we go. Easy crit. So you can pick up this armor. I think they're all standing on top of a decoy too. I need to snag that. Easy. There you go, guys. All for you. I for sure just been saying the same shit for the last 
two hours of this recording. I ain't doing anything else but the same shit. Oh my Lanta, that was so close. That was such a last second training maneuver. He's a zombie's legend. There's no tackles on the ground for me to use. Oh, there's our chemical camo. We're all done with Pack-A-Punch. It's always crits that's last. Every single time. Now that I think I've kind of figured out the strat a little better, best thing to do if you actually want to get this Dark Aether, which you probably shouldn't if you value your life, is walk backwards, hit fire at head level, if possible, and just fucking keep running for your life. And that's about it. Nothing crazy here besides me. And on your way, if you find some decoys while you're running, pick those bad boys up. Toss them down, rinse and repeat. Grab all the green salvage you can. Once you're at 500, I'm at 640 right now. You can go back to the crafting table and make some more. Are oh, you fucking kidding me? I'm down again. I finally felt like I was making moves and I'm back on the fucking floor. We're leaving. There's a little crafting bench right over here. Let's grab decoys. We already have a self revive. We have an aether shroud, so we don't need to waste our decoys over here. We can aether shroud now. Grab our quick revive. We need meal kick. Death perception's key. Stamina up. PhD and dead shot. Now we can go back. We only have five thousand dollars. It's round thirty-eight. We've been down nine times. This is such a struggle. No! 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 That mimic almost got me. They almost one-two comboed me. He dragged me into a tormentor that was in the middle of a giant horde of zombies. This mimic is a fucking menace. He just committed a war crime. No, not again! Oh, fuck. Nade! Go! Oh my god, I took out that whole horde and still went down. Come on, ray gun. Help me up. Let's go. Back to get perks. Tony Hawk? Yeah! That's what I needed. <sighs> Round 43. We're about like 100 away though. Not bad. We're, we're in the final stretch here. We got two decoys on us. I'm just going to do nothing but focus on crits. I mean, that's all I've been doing, but I don't even care if there's elites around. I'm throwing decoys and just slamming heads until it's done. Get on the decoy now. Give me these crits. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go. We actually got it done. We don't need to do anything else. I'm going to take this fucking ray gun though. I'm going to blast our asses till I die. This is actually one of the most painful grinds I've ever done. And it's over. Take me the fuck out. I'm just going to bleed out. Oh, shit. That is like one of the most painful experiences of my life. Our total here, almost 4,000 eliminations, 2,456 crits, because we already had a few from when we first tried the gun out, and 11 downs. That is ridiculous. That is such a high amount of downs. We had to go all the way to round 43. It took a total of like three hours of grinding, not including my fucking, the nap I had to take in the middle. All right, this is what the iron hide looks like with gold viper. It looks like shit. I hate it. This is what it looks like in plague diamond. A little less like shit, but still a fucking asshole gun. And dark aether. Wow, crazy. Actually, it's kind of nice. It's even a little lacy scandalous let's go see what it looks like in game and this is what the 0.410 iron side looks like with dark aether honestly it's really clean i think i had an attachment on it so the dark aether didn't stretch all the way towards the front of the barrel but this is it default no attachments very very nice but the fucking gun sucks never use this in zombies i i repeat never use this in zombies you'll hate your life but it does look kind of cool like really cool actually now that we're getting that light pink in there oh my lanta but i'm pretty dead so i'm gonna have to end the video there if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.